Hello everybody, Vapor Mini here again, and I'm back with a hardware review for you folks. Uh, this time it is the Rapture Sub Arm Tank. There it is. There's the box. Now you'll probably get a different box. This is the ones that were sent out to the reviewers from Horizon Vape Distro, who are the company that are working with EPRO. To bring this to the UK, uh, I'm not sure what's going on around the rest of the world, but yeah, that's the packaging. I'll do an up close with it in a minute. And the tank, let's have a quick vape and see how it performs. Wait, let's turn that power down. Certainly chumps the clouds, that's for sure. Right then, folks, without further ado, I'll get it on the deck. I'll drain it first, because that is the only one of the tanks I've got. Um, I'll show you the ins and outs, the gubbins. Um, we'll talk about the coils and the unique cotton they've used on this coil. And then I'll come back up top and give you my final thoughts, pros and cons, on the Raptor by EPRO, or EH Pro. <laughs> get it down on the deck, folks. Back in a minute. Okay, folks. Here's the Raptor. Ignore the name there. It's not the Rapture. They obviously realised there was a product already out called the Rapture. Ignore that. It is the Raptor. Obviously, this box is a reviewer's box. Sample, not for sale. Um, yours will come very differently packaged to this. Um, I imagine this bit might be the similar. The inner box. EH Pro. Um... Some logoing and everything, and that's about it on there, really. Not an awful lot to show. And inside you get the tank. Now, I didn't get a spare glass. Um, and the coil I got, actually, the spare coil I got with this was actually another single coil. So I didn't get a double dual coil. I told them and told them, and they've not got back to me. So I'm doing a review anyway. You get some spare seals and uh, a little bag, as you'd expect, and the tank. As you can see, let's see if we can pick this up on the camera. We might be able to. Where are we? Yeah. Come on, camera. Just there, it says Raptor. That is the name of the tank, Raptor, not Rapture. Rapture. And there we go. It's uh, an 810 drip tip. Uh, your custom ones do fit. I have checked that. Um, and a little bit, the cap just slides open to relieve, reveal the juice well. Um, it's not the tightest fitting cap. No locking mechanism on the cap either, which sucks a little bit. Um, it is covered in juice. I have had to drain it because it's the only one I got of this. And there we go. It comes to part really quickly. Um, it comes with a bubble glass. I didn't get any other glass with it. And there's the tank, just to excuse the kitchen roll. Uh, there's your top bit, and again, that easy opening sliding thing. Um, I'd be a bit worried about that. But we'll come back to that when we come up top. And, and the coils. This is a single coil that's in there. And as you can see, it is now getting to the point where it's past its best. But it's a very easy, simple. It's a sliding lock, big airflow at the bottom there. It does lock. So it makes taking the part tank to pieces a lot easier. There's the base. Mine's number 40. They are serialised. Uh, it's, it's a protruding pin. But again, I'd be very, very careful about using that on anything but a regulated device. And the coil just unscrews like most stock coils. Obviously this one's covered in juice. And uh, it's a little pin. When I've got that off, I'll just quickly dry in there as well. And the coils, I will mention they, they've used different cotton formulations again. Now, we saw this with the Falcon tanks, where they use some wood pulp. But these cotton have some seagrass cotton or supplements within the cotton. Again, I'll come back to that in the final thoughts. And there we go, folks. It just screws together like most normal stock coil tanks. The threads aren't super crisp. They're a bit iffy. And take a bit of finding, especially when putting it back together. 
And the easiest way I've found is to affix, hold on the top gas and then screw the base in. Doing it the other way is quite tricky, but that is a lot easier. A lot, lot easier. And there we go, folks. That is the Raptor from EH Pro in association with Horizon Vape Distro. The up close done. I will bring it back up top, fill it with some juice, give you my final thoughts, pros and cons on the Raptor by EH Pro and Horizon Vape Distro. Okay, folks, we're back up top with the Raptor from EPRO, uh, released in conjunction with Horizon Vape Distro UK. What do I think about this tank? There's some issues. Um, yes. They've tried to use some seagrass and some alternative things in the cotton. Um, for me, that is... It kind of works and it kind of doesn't work. The flavour isn't as good as, say, for example, the Falcon tanks. Which brings me nicely onto the fact that Falcon tank, the Falcon coils from the Falcon tanks actually fit in this. And to be fair, I found the Falcon coils actually work much better than the coils that come with this. Uh, the coils also that came with this one had the wrong voltage optimum settings on them. Um, I think it actually says, where is it? 40 to 60 watts. Um, I've actually found the flavour and the cloud production is pretty tame at that level um i've actually been running the minikin with this on 80 watts and it seems okay i've gone up to about 90 and then it starts to get a bit of burnt taste um coil life of the raptor coils that came with this i got about five to six hundred mils of juice through it that was various juices before the cotton started getting yucky and the flavour dropped off and you got the burnt taste. Um, con, again, that top cap, it's very easy to slide open. Very, very easy. And I imagine if you're a turn your mod off and put it in your pocket kind of person, or even in your, your, your bag or your satchel or your handbag, that could quite easily pop open and you've got juice everywhere. Would have been nice just to have seen a locking mechanism. Pro, the fact that it can use the Falcon coils, which for me, the M1 coils are far better um, flavour and cloud production and longevity than the coils that come with the Raptor. Um, again, that's just my personal opinion on it all. Yeah, it's, it's a good tank. The actual tank is very solid and I like the design and I like the look. But the coils for me have let it down. Obviously, there's a few issues. I never got to try the dual coil, so I can't comment on the dual coil version. I just have the single coil version. And yeah, the coils aren't fantastic for me. Um, I much prefer a Falcon coil. In fact, I prefer the tank with a Falcon coil than I do a Falcon tank with a Falcon coil, if that makes any sense at all. Hopefully, it does. But that's just my opinion. For 80 watts, you can't really grumble about the cloud production. The flavour's not great, but as you've seen, my coil is going off again. So, yeah, it's kind of a middle-ish road tank. It, with a Falcon coil in, it's fantastic. So, if you want to buy a Raptor, get some Falcon coils would be my advice. Uh, but there we go. That's it. That's the Raptor. That's my thoughts. Uh, not one I'd go out and get personally. I just get a Falcon because the coils in the Falcon are far better in, than in the Rapture. But that's just my opinion. I know a lot of other people have liked these tanks. It's just got a few issues for me, really. And there we go, folks. An honest opinion from a vapor. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Drop a like and comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And keep your eye out. I have another stock coil tank coming up from Smock. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll be back again soon. Look after yourselves, love and respect.